Welcome back guys, today we are talking with the knight who didn't actually succeed in his big battle against the monster. Your wound, feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic, and knows no one she could turn to for help. Oh, so it's not going to be about him, but about her, okay. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged. Ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Don't tell me that she's some kind of, I don't know, werewolf or something else. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk. That she's wont to suddenly disappear. Or maybe Nothing she's a vampire. I mean, this land has a lot of them. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution huh. already. You shall take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Well, I can see that. This tourney, how's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship and fencing. I qualified for the first time had great hopes of winning, yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. 
Um, I'm going to agree to any of the rewards. I'm not going to push him to give me more, so yeah. Let's just do it. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Hmm. Yeah, let's go from the first one to the last one, from one to four. Or one to three, because four is just saying that I don't need anything. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. <laughs> Hit the red targets. Okay. All of them? I mean, do even head count? Yes, it does. Um. Once more. No, that's enough. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Well, I will take your advice. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Come with me. Yes, I am. Just start running so I can really follow you this time. You, have taken part in. you shall not ride against any opponent. How is it a race at all then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Okay. So I guess it's going to be a little bit larger trek, possibly. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points, for now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Okay. Uh, let's try it. Um Okay. <laughs> the dummy one is going to be a little bit harder because I don't know why but I can't really hit the targets. You see, it was too early now and it was too late last time. So, I don't really get it. extra time added I mean if I'm fast enough I might not even need the time and I thought that this is going to be a longer race but it seems it's not going to be Whoa. so have you had enough or do you wish to ride again yeah it's a short one no harm in going again let me that try to hit the witchers let me try to hit the dummies, because I never do this. I actually never do this. It's so much easier when you are not on horse, so that's a reason. And now, yeah, look at that. 
Oh yeah. I think I will get the time right. Hopefully. Wait a second. Okay, can we even get the full time? Maybe it is even possible, who knows. And the last one, I mean hitting targets is actually too easy but dummies are a little bit tricky for someone who never does that. <laughs> okay. I think it's enough now. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. No, that's enough, thank you. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Well, the last thing. Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own methods. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. Uh, whatever that means. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Well, possibly. Because... There's too many things troubling you. I mean too many things. One woman is too many things. <laughs> Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. You need not ask me twice. Hmm. Can we use... Okay, imagine if I could use that. <laughs> Good. Damn it. Okay. I expected you to do well, but not that well. Um could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. You need not ask me twice. Okay, the same guy again. Look alive. I thought that I will ask him if he wants to fight, not this guy again. Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? No, I think that's enough. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Which means what? What could that mean? To be in order. You think that Geralt knows what the order really is? I have to disappoint you, but that's something that he never will know. I mean, he's a moral and a normal man, but still, not really prepared for something like this. Okay. Oh, I can even loot this one and the flower. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. <laughs> it's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Just give me a normal Geralt of Rivia, nothing else. A 
I'm Geralt, not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. Nice. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Hmm. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. And my name is always going to be the first one. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Okay. Her illustrious Highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. Not bad, not bad. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Hmm, okay. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? Oh. Mm. I swear on Her Grace's illustrious garter to respect the chivalric virtues in competing. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. A sign here, please, then fill out these forms. <laughs> that is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Paperwork, paperwork. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Well, everything is near the arena. All right. Well, it seems that it is already time for the first challenge. Well, thank you. <laughs> Let me see. Who am I against? Geralt, well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Renfan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less, as if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt, I've a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. 
Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait, play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. <laughs> okay, let's play. Never turn down a round of Gwent. Maybe I even win something from him. Who knows? Ah, oh, come on. I've got such a bad hand. Such a bad hand. Okay. Getting a little bit more cards. I think that he is not going to place any more cards and I have I have 13 cards and he is at 6. That one is going to definitely help me out. But Siri is not going to help me. Okay. Still having six cards more, that's great. Oh. It's like he knows what I have. Really, dude? Hmm. Not really sure. Oh, he he's done. Yeah, he doesn't have enough cards, so I won anyways. And just by how much? Well, by double. Nice. I congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Late Fivian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. And when am I going to take a part in the first challenge? It seems now, okay. Fair knights, I salute you. The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them. That is correct. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. <laughs> the targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. 
May the better man win. Okay, so mine are red and his are blue, so I'll be able to keep the count. Okay. All right. Like a lover ghostly grasping, but one fair teeth, Geralt's half spoon with joyous victory and bitter defeat. Just how much faster am I? Woohoo! I mean, I didn't expect that this is going to be hard, so... Let's see. The crossbow. I hope that it is at least a little bit better than the one I have. Thank you, my lady. Geralt of Arabia's crossbow. <laughs> My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thank you. Thanks. You're humble. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Maybe. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Okay, I hope that I will have enough Convex. time. That's clear. Not sure what beast left them. Just that it's big. Oh, wow. Oriole feather. Vivian keep a bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. Hmm. <laughs> Ruxay tend to be fond of birds. His and salts. Hmm. Used to make compresses. Okay. Now let's loot this. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. <laughs> Someone approaches, quickly! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. <laughs> well, that's not good. That's definitely not good. She saw us, so that's... I hope that she will not tell to Vivian, or at least Vivian is not going to be angry. Um, Roach, where are you? Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous! Gaze at the host assembled before us! Look upon chivalry's best and most storied! Come from far lands, here to seek glory! Hear now their names as I shout them aloud! Savor their titles of their presence, be proud! Palmerin! The Baron of Longfall, Linus of Metina, Rainfarn of Atra, Hormakaspark of Meicht, Donimir of Troy, Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess, Delwyn. Of Craig Yow, Count Ty of Dondal, and say of Lyria and Rivia a prince. 
Geralt of Rivia! For Gregoire of Montgorgon, let out a roaring cheer! The faint fire of silence, tawny champion from last year! Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe! Does ignorance demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how tawnies proceed? How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, Meave, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours okay. is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. <laughs> oh, the <Tony's> yeah. <laughs> the mate, Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, sir knight. Hmm. Mount your She's steed. giving some clues. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage, maybe if I win the tourney, maybe the curse will be over. Was that the clue? What a sight to behold! What a luck! What a tale! Before us, Geralt from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. All right, here we go. Let's finish this race. Let's be the fastest one. Let's prove to that prince that we are better than him. Um, okay, I, I did see the first dummy. Okay. Oof, it's going to be a little bit harder to hit them. Now that I have a little bit less time, probably. Come on, run. Yes. Uh, where is the next target? Next one, next one, next one. There we go. And... Roach, what are you doing? I don't care about the rocks. Just let me hit the target. And three out of nine. Come on, come on. Get the full time again. Yes, run faster. Okay, next dummy. And bam! Nice! Actually, even started hitting them. That's really good. Come on, be faster for a moment and... Yeah, I did tell you to slow down, but you didn't. Again. Okay, and... Ooh. Roach, stop running! Okay, I can take any of these two parts. I think it's the same thing, or at least I don't have a dummy, I just need to hit this target so it's going to be a lot easier. And that's 5 out of 9, wow, that is a lot, oh wow, really. Okay. Uh, next target, next target. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, it's kinda the same. It's a little bit shorter, maybe, on the other side, but it's going to be much harder to maneuver, so... Maybe even better to go a little bit around and 
Yes. And hitting the middle, getting the possibly so the most I can get from it. Place. Okay, quite a lot of time, I hope. Not really a sure, but I hope. Style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your prize. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. Nice. By the way, my maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. <laughs> How juvenile. So she did find out. Heh. <laughs> Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. <laughs> we must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early <laughs> to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose, and sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Well, that is true. Your presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel, then. <laughs> Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. I didn't desert it. May the blood they I will spill wash away the stain of your took cowardice. Me. Let's get this over with. Quick. And I got Three, the training. Two. For a witcher. One. Come on. No, don't slow it down. Why did you slow it down? Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. And he did... Stop slowing it down. Come on. Oh. I didn't even know that I can do this. Never learn. Nice. And he even got poison because of this sword. Come on. Ah, almost. And missing again. And again... Uh. 
Okay, I can't use my crossbow. I wanted to just to shoot him down and that's it. Okay. Wow, really Geralt? Why did you change direction? Okay, I can see that this is definitely not going well. Wow, I even missed him and my sword was going through him. Gonna hang your head from my saddle. Okay, this one was good. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it, you still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say, you had a secret mission, set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to duel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. Don't get drunk. Slow down a little bit, you need to fight again. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Gregoire de Gourgon. Victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, a big man. make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. <clears throat> Going alone. That grey domed scoundrel. Where did she go? Oh, so we are going into her tent. <clears throat> Strange. Was sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa? Oh. Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. Not bad, not bad, but... I need to keep running a little bit faster. Don't go into water. Okay, leading me where? Right. I mean, I don't have my armor at the moment, so please 
don't do stuff like this. Oh wow, she's flying again. Okay, is this going to be a little bit faster? Yes. Come on. She's getting away. Because of these stupid pen turns. I told you not to drink that much. You see what happens? Okay. One more. Really? Just how many are there? I hope that she is waiting. Or maybe that I even came to destination... Well, I didn't. But it seems that we are close. I mean, the castle is here, so... Okay, we are not going for the castle. Uh, oh, the cave! I flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. Oh, wow. What the hell? Well, that was nice. And that's definitely not going to be faster because I have monsters inside here. Oh god. Where are you going? Finally! Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights, good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, Save myself from you, that I want it done here, in this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? Yeah, While what? you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, <laughs> now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. <laughs> you shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. He 
you got nothing to fear. Came here to help you, and I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. Oh. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it, and they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What? Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But fifteen summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Hmm. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. The magic water.
You can change it, Will? No. But I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm. Interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Hmm. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you. I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Well, yes. Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. My Got team. It. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonfo will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you'll do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Dude, we Take your fought last and night and to I took you down. What are you even talking about? A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one dropped to its knees. Who virtue ignores, or lance blows unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Okay. Let us begin. Clout, race a Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in bucket. Defeat the opposing team. Oh, I can even no eat. Can I even I use... Ah, okay, I can't. I just about enough of this oil. All right. Going solo on all of them. Nice. From the back, yes. The end. This is it. Oh, me? Oh, my. That must oh wow, I even took down mine. Or is that one mine? The world's never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. 
Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rivia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials. Each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. Let's go to the final battle. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous well, harm in the combat, in have the you any arena. last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a tight ton of infamy. Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Lassie's tourney. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Okay, let's take this big guy down. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Okay, at 50%, but he deals a lot of damage, so. Damn. Oh, come on. For strong bones and deep drink to fall. A wine. Wine for the soul. When he's hitting, he actually. You cannot take him down, so. He's hitting real hard. Get out of free fire! This year's champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! 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 <laughs> what was that? As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. I'm bleeding a little he bit. Made upon the garter of her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta. Doubtless the Duchess's grace carried him to the splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena! I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk regard you. The least you should do is wave. Let's go and lift the curse. One more in the bag. Let's go. my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tent's grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. Can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. <laughs> Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? Guillaume's no foe. Though there's little honor in meddling, 
He meant well, means well. You guessed correctly. He was the one to hire me, but only because he wanted to help you. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I am yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent, turn towards the Duchy's northern marches, and run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? Come on. My lady, but your, your troubles. I, I only wish the, the Witcher see. Out now! You assured me I could trust you! I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt! When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Need to find an egg. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. The little unborn bird is a sacrifice, but the human being who's, I don't know, 80 years old, well, that's, that's a brutal killing. Hmm. You see the logic? Well, I don't. This is the place. Oh no! A panther's got at the nest! Stand back. I'll take care of this. Wow, what kind of jump was that? Eggs fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Well, we only need one? Think so. Now what must I do? Concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muana Gandrao. Muana Finerat. Oh. Wow. The exploding egg. <laughs> Damn it. Geralt, 
Look! Look! Oh, gods! I shall be able to attend balls! I shall travel to Oxenford, to Novigrad even! Thank you, Witcher! Other than Guillaume, he's the one hired me to help you. Yeah. Better thank yes. him. I am grateful to him as well immensely. Will you tell him so for me? No. Should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. Come on, that's not fair. That is completely not fair. Uh, sure, I don't like it. I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. I don't like it. She should have done it by herself because she was really rude. Okay, I'll see you when I get back to Gulliam. And here we are, so let's tell him everything. But what if another night proves Geralt, what of Vivian? Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Yeah, her troubles, but... Asked me to give you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? Method she chose worked. Thing is, she might only live for a few years more. Seven or so, most likely. Though I could be wrong. You had better be. You failed me, Witcher. I placed my trust in you and... It was Vivian's decision. Wanted to do it her way. Can't blame me for that. Yeah. Got this bard friend. Philosopher too, I guess. Amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. Come on, dude. Well, I, I can see why those two could work out together. Both of them are rude. Both of them. Just complete as... Uh... <clears throat> yes, that. Well, I'll see you in the next episode when we start with the next side quest. We have dozen of them to do because of the question mark ones on the map and it seems that those ones are a little bit longer than the ones we had in the main game. So, in this DLC we will do even those ones. See you soon in the next episode.